God Almighty wants you to stop overthinking. Okay? Stop, stop, stop. Stop overthinking. And this is what I want to explain to you. And by the way, I welcome you to the gospel with Ishmael. Now listen. One thing that personally I have learned from the Lord is that whenever it comes to matters where I need God's direction and I do not know which way to take or uh, what to do, I feel like I'm feeling confused. How will I know? How can I be sure? I realize that actually I am overthinking. And indeed, I be overthinking. But then... I thank the Lord because an answer came on how to deal with it. When it comes to God's will with whatever you want God's direction on, the Lord will direct you. But how does he do so without you overthinking, without you asking yourself questions on whether it is God or your own thinking or the devil trying to make you take the wrong path? Thing is this, the answer was... Don't think too deep about it. Just relax your mind. Go with the flow. When the time is right for you to make a decision, it will just happen. You will find yourself in a position where you have to make a decision. You can see that this could be what I've been praying for. I've been asking the Lord. Do I take it or do I leave it? Without you having to plan that, you know what? For instance... Let's just take you are expecting a marital breakthrough, a kingdom marriage. In order for you to know whether this person is the right one for you or not, it is, it is hard to imagine on how you can tell. Sometimes you'd be like, oh, maybe let me just go to the mall. Maybe I will bump into that person. Let me, you get what I'm saying? But then that shows you are overthinking you are putting yourself under pressure. But let me assure you, if you are in the right track with the Lord, you don't have to plan. You don't have to think. Just live your life as normal. One day, whichever place you will be at, you will just find yourself in that position where somebody just pops in while you are at a queue, for instance. Or maybe you lost, you dropped something, and this person be like, is this yours? At the end, you find yourself interacting with that person to an extent where you find yourselves exchanging contacts. To an extent where you eventually realize, wait a minute, this person is possessing all the traits I've always been praying for. And you realize on whether you want them or not. But when you inquire from the Lord, you realize that this person matches the description which I have been praying for when asking the Lord to show me the one. And that is when you know that, listen, I have two options. Here. It's either I can take this person, we go on, or I can ignore and expect another person. But this could be the one. And if I don't take this offer, meaning that I am not trusting the Lord for what I asked him for. So by default, you will realize that at the end of the day, without having to overthink, when the time was right, the Lord made it easy. Now, as any human being, you have a free will. You will just realize that now it's up to me to take what I've been asking the Lord for. So in each and every area, whether it's marital-wise, job-wise, whatever it is, stop overthinking. The moment you start overthinking, it's a sign that you are getting out of the will of the Lord. But just pray and you'll be like, Lord, when the time is right, make it clear for me. And indeed, God will remind you and you'll be able to make the right decision. And I hope this was helpful. May God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, see you next time.